Welcome to the All in One channel. I'm Kelly Rosano and this is Capricorn 2013, your astrology year ahead forecast. Capricorn, we start off 2013 with your ruling planet, Saturn, direct. Saturn will be direct until February 18th. Having Saturn direct is very positive and forward moving for you. Now, Saturn is 11 signs away from you. And Saturn is in the area of your life that has to do with your goals, your friends, uh, the organizations you belong to, the groups you belong to. So you could see that you take on more responsibility in these areas um, in 2013 where you may be leading a group or you may be leading uh, a company or you may be leading an organization. You could find yourself in a leadership role in 2013. And this is good for you because you are the natural leaders. Um, okay, now also you may be looking at some of your friends and seeing if the relationship is still valid or is the relationship more trouble than it's worth. So you are going to be evaluating your friends and groups and goals in 2013 and those that you do commit to uh, that's where you'll find that hey I want to lead this group I think it's time I take this leadership role and that's something to look forward to in 2013 having Saturn in Scorpio is very beneficial for Capricorn because Saturn uh, sextile Saturn in Scorpio sextiles Capricorn Scorpio is a water sign it waters the earth and from that everything grows you are an earth sign and uh, a sextile creates opportunity we do have to take the initiative with sextiles but they do create opportunity for us so this is uh, different than 2012 or 11 or 10 when Saturn was moving through Libra challenging the Capricorn now it's in Scorpio more harmonizing for Capricorn which means you know plans can move forward and um, you can feel that uh, the energies are working with you and and supporting you now we have a window of opportunity from January 30th through February 18th this is when all the planets are direct when all the planets are direct, it happens once a year, it's a really good time to start a business, to move, to get married, to take a job, to start anything that you've been wanting to do for a really long time, but have been waiting for that right moment, have been waiting for it. January 30th through February 18th, all the planets are direct. It's a green light from the universe. And when you start something new under this energy, it's like jumping on a wave that will carry you until 2014. You want to ride the wave. The momentum will carry you. The wind is in your sails. So this is very good. And now Pluto is also in your sign. And Pluto being in your sign is something that you will be working with for years and years to come. So this isn't anything new than, we, than what we discussed in 2012. It is the continuing theme. When the outer planets transit us, they do the biggest work because they penetrate so deeply. Having Pluto in your own sign means you get to direct Pluto. But when Pluto is in our own sign, Pluto is penetrating the deepest aspects of self. You are going through a regeneration, a transformation, and it's all about self-improvement. It's all about merging with your I am presence, your soul, releasing the ego, releasing the false beliefs, releasing that which no longer serves you, letting go of the past, letting go of relationships, letting go of situations, letting go of what doesn't empower you. If it empowers you, you keep it. If it doesn't empower you, you don't need it anymore. Pluto is not a maybe planet. Pluto says, change or I will change you. This is Pluto. I'm channeling Pluto. <laughs> and so having Pluto in this area of your life is about profound, deep change to the core of your being. The inner workings are being reworked. You are being restructured. And it's all about 
evolutionizing yourself, evolutionizing your life, new beginnings, new starts, new way of seeing the world as well. Because as we change on the outside, as we raise in vibration, as we expand in consciousness, we have a new worldview. We see the world new. So Pluto is really empowering you to evolutionize your life. Now Pluto is going to be making two powerful squares with Uranus in 2013. The first one will be May 21st and the second one is November 1st. You really want to pay attention to this because this is life-changing for all of us. But remember these planets only take that which is obsolete. They never take what you need for your soul evolution and the whole reason we're here is to spiritually evolve. So our ego may be attached to something but our soul wants us to come up higher, to be holding more light, to evolve. So change is your friend, growth is your friend. Now Uranus is in the part of your life that has to do with your foundation, how you nurture yourself, how you nurture others, your home, where you live, your security, your inner security, your emotional security. So Uranus and Pluto when they challenge off like this they are going to provoke growth, they are going to provoke change. So pay attention to these dates, May 21st and November 1st. Very powerful and I will be talking about it in the monthlies but it is something to be aware of. So there's deep changes going on in your unconscious mind because these areas of our life rule our unconscious mind. And so it's about freedom from the past. It is about um, creating more freedom in your life and that means releasing the old ties, releasing the old ties to the past. Pluto and Uranus will break them off. If we don't do the change, they do it uh, to us. And that's, that's how we can feel like, oh, the world's doing this to me. It isn't the world doing it to us, it's our own unconscious because we create our reality through our thoughts and feelings. And we can co-create it with source by being consciously aware and consciously choosing. But when we don't and we hang on, then the universe changes it. And it's really our own unconscious doing it or our higher self. And so, so we can either be in the driver's seat and make the changes or the universe will make the changes for us. So if we're in a dead end relationship or a dead end living location or a dead end job and we don't want to change, these transits will come in and that sudden times in our lives, certain times in our lives, especially May 21st and November 1st, all of a sudden the relationships, the person's gone. All of a sudden we have to move. All of a sudden uh, we have to take a new job in a new location. So that's how the universe works. We can either work with the universe or the universe will make the changes for us. But either way Pluto and Uranus are saying make friends with change, make friends with growth because it's your time to evolve. It's all about evolutionizing your relationships. Saturn is saying look at your goals, look at the groups you belong to, look at the friends you belong to. Are they really authentic expressions of you. You see because the way we th this reality works is what's inside of us is reflected back to us outside and if we have evolved beyond certain people in our life and they no longer authentically reflect us then we need to move on and make new friendships, join new groups, uh, take a new job, start a new company. Now you may find challenges in your relationships if you're being too controlling because when Pluto's in our own sign it gives us a lot of power. Pluto is all about power, how we own power, how we get power, how we keep our power. So be aware how you're coming across to other people. If you find that people are resisting you or you're finding that you're having difficulty in relationships, you may, it may be because um, you're being too controlling because Pluto is all about power and you have a lot of power Capricorn having Pluto in your own sign. And so we're not here to control anyone. The only one we can control is ourself and that is, isn't even control. It's about the relationship we're having with self. It's about the relationship we're having to others. Control is an illusion. We're having relationships. We have a relationship with self, we have a relationship with source, we have a relationship with our environment, we have a relationship to other people. So you want to look at those relationships and see how they're working for you and others. And again if you're having challenges there it's because you may be uh, you know being too controlling with others and remember it's always about the win-win. 
you know, giving and receiving. Allow others to choose for themselves. Allow others to decide for themselves. Everyone has an inner being, even children. Everyone has their own inner being to guide them. And we don't have to control anyone. Let them learn through their uh, own experiences and they will thank you for that. They will be grateful that you're there but you're not uh, being too over uh, protective or dominating or controlling. So Uranus and Pluto are changing you from the inside out. And this is, you know, in, don't be surprised in 2013 if you have a new worldview, if you have new beliefs, if you have new ideas of the world, a new vision of the world, new vision of yourself, if you have a new perspective on yourself, a new perspective of the world, because this is all of the growth. And as we, we uh, shift and change and grow, we expand in consciousness. And when we release the past, we become more of our authentic self. And that's what we're here to do in 2013. It's all about living from our authentic nature, not our egoic nature, but our true self, our true personality, our soul self, our authentic nature. And when we do that, it changes our perspective on the world. Now we have five eclipses in um, 2013, and these are powerful. We have, um, the first one is a lunar eclipse on April 25th, and that's at six degrees Scorpio. And then we have one on May 10th at uh, 20 degrees Taurus. This is the love area for you as well. So your friends, your groups, this is being activated. And then the romance area is being activated. Greater self-expression, greater creativity, uh, taking risks, uh, putting yourself out there, coming to a new level of self-awareness in 2013. So romance is on the table, relationship is on the table big time in 2013. Um, and this is really exciting for you. Uh, so the eclipses are working the love area, the love you give to others and the love you receive from others. So this is going to be a very dynamic year for you. You can have sudden luck and opportunity. And Taurus harmonizes. It's a sister sign to Capricorn. So these eclipses are going to be harmonizing with you. And Scorpio sextiles you. So both of these eclipses are harmonious to you. They're going to create opportunity for you. Opportunity for growth. Opportunity for expansion. Opportunity for true love. Opportunity for deep commitment. Opportunity for deep love and relationship. So for those of you that have been seeking a soulmate, 2013 could be the year. For those of you that are already committed, you could be taking your relationship to the next level, to a higher level of commitment, to a, a deeper level of commitment, profound year for you. And so the more you work on yourself, the more you release the past, the more you create the space for true love to enter your life and new opportunities because um, the Scorpio eclipses are activating where Saturn is, new opportunities for um, uh, you know, financial gain for uh, love, for new friends, for new growth, for new um, business opportunities. This is very exciting for you. Then on May 25th, we have um, a, a four degree Sagittarius eclipse. And um, that is uh, the last Sagittarius eclipse we'll be experiencing. That has to do with your spirituality, recognizing how you limit yourself, how your attitude may hold you back at times, that's why we want to release it. Eclipses are the most powerful trends that we can experience. They herald major endings and beginnings. They say, let go of the past, create the space for the new to come in, the new life to come in, the new love to come in, the new opportunities to come in. Then we have in October, a lunar eclipse at 26 degrees Aries. And that will um, activate your area of home. So you may be moving at this time. You may be moving in with someone. Someone may be moving in with you. Uh, so this has to do with where you live. This is very exciting. And then on November 3rd, we have an 11, 12 degree Scorpio eclipse, uh, solar eclipse back in that lucky area of your life that has to do with financial gain. It has to do with love that you see from others, your goals in life, sudden opportunities for growth and expansion, new groups, new friends. This is a very exciting year for you, Capricorn. It's not going to be like 2012 or 2011. You're going to feel the wind in your sails and Jupiter is really working for you too in uh, 2013. Jupiter 
uh, starts out in Gemini and this is all about self-improvement you're going to see your work improve your work environment is going to improve in 2013 first half of 2013 Jupiter is in the area of your life that has to do with improving your health well-being vitality and this will come as you release what no longer serves you as Pluto is regenerating you saying let go of the past let go of what's happened in the past forgive yourself and move forward forgive others release the past be your empowered self own your power allow others to have their experiences and um, watch for your health to improve watch for uh, your work to improve your work environment is going to improve and then Jupiter goes into cancer on June 25th and will be in cancer until July of 2014 this is the marriage sector this is the relationship sector for those of you that have been asking about relationships 2013 2014 it's on the horizon for you so you want to prepare yourself you want to get yourself ready you want to be your best empowered self for that love interest that's coming in uh, Jupiter and Cancer will bring good partners to you bring good relations to relationships to you that will help you that will empower you that will love you and this will continue through um, 2013 and 2014 okay so love is on the horizon Capricorn relationship marriage is on the horizon for you and so you want to prepare yourself for that and so how do you do that by being flexible by being open to new ideas because the right person for you could come in a package you didn't even plan on the person could be much younger than you the person could be much older than you they could be a different race than you but they're perfect for you because they're your soulmate and they mate your soul so release old ideas release old expectations be flexible the more flexible you are the more the universe can bring you what's best for you not what the ego tells you but what is right for you what is right for your soul this is a very exciting year for you the eclipses are working for you your ruling planet is working for you and your ruling planet goes direct July 7th Jupiter is in cancer July 25th I can't wait to talk about July and August with you because it really is lighting up love for you new opportunities for you romance for you it's very exciting if you're already in a relationship it's only going to make the marriage even better or the person you're coupled with living with it's only going to make that relationship improve and get better when Jupiter is in cancer because cancer is your marriage sign it's seven signs from you so this is very positive very uplifting it's all about self-improvement it's all about regenerating the self it's all about evolutionizing you and your life it's about uh, revolutionizing where you live and who you live with you could get married in 2013 and that person could move in with you or you move in with them or you move with them it's very exciting I really like seeing this for the Capricorns because I know you guys have had it hard for a while you know and um, you know so pay attention to the Pluto and what Pluto is doing and Uranus is doing um, especially Capricorns born between December 21st and January 4th first half of the year um, uh, up until uh, that that first May 21st time and then the second half of the year June 25th through July 5th you'll really be feeling Uranus um, because Uranus gets up to 12 degrees Aries in 2013 and these energies are so powerful we can take them out five degrees we're all going to be feeling it but especially those Capricorns um, born uh, excuse me December 21st through January 1st I said cancer forgive me there uh, December 21st through January 1st and then um, uh, January uh, 1st through January 8th you Capricorns will be feeling um, Uranus most greatly during this time period because uh, first half of the year Uranus gets up to um, nine degrees and then the second half of the year uh, Uranus gets up to 12 degrees 
uh, all Capricorns will be feeling this, especially around May 21st and November 1st, but you really do have a positive year ahead of you. Saturn is working for you, your ruling planet. The eclipses are working for you. Jupiter is working for you. Even Neptune is working for you because Neptune is in Pisces, which harmonizes with the Capricorns and really shows you a new spiritual dimension of yourself. If you allow it, you can be shown a new spiritual dimension of yourself, of the world, of the universe, how you see the universe, how you see yourself as a great soul in, in this world. And so this is a very exciting time for you. Uh, 2013 is going to be a dynamic year, an exciting year for you. And what I'm seeing when I look out into 2013 um, is it will be far less intense than it was in 2012. So um, know that and know, you know, you Capricorns born between December 21st and January 4th will be feeling the Uranus Pluto most greatly uh, first half of the year. And then it kicks in with those babies born January 1st to January 8th, um, second half of the year, really feeling that transformation and growth with Uranus and Pluto. But you know, make friends with growth, make friends with change. There's also a lot of gifts coming your way. New opportunities for business, new opportunities to make money, new opportunities for a soulmate, or taking that relationship you're in to the next level. Health improving, relationships improving. If you manage that, uh, that Pluto and Capricorn and allow everyone else to have their experiences and you will find that it's really working for you. Now I'm also noticing that the goddess energy is going to be really strong in 2013. Uh, the asteroids are showing me this. We have three of the five eclipses in, in, in feminine energy, lunar eclipses. So we want to balance our female strength with our male assertiveness. That's what 2013 is saying. Be balanced. Be balanced in your male and female energies. Be male assertive, but also be feminine strong use that together and you know Pluto is all about power yes own your power but allow others to own theirs trust that they ch with the choices they're making is right for them even if it doesn't agree with you let them experience it Saturn is about authority owning your authority owning your authority with your friends owning your authority with the groups you belong to owning your authority with the place you work at owning your authority with the organizations you belong to Saturn is saying trust your gut instinct trust your intuition it will not fail you remember you are evolving you are ascending this is an awesome year for you Capricorn you're really moving up now I have two free coaching tools that could be useful for you in creating manifesting what you desire in 2013. The links are below um, because we create through our rea we create our reality through our thoughts and our feelings. So what do you want to create in 2013? So one is consciously creating 2013 and the second one is seven steps to creating your heart's desire. This is a positive year for you. This is an exciting year for you. You're going to see a lot happen in love and relationships in work, work improving, your health improving, uh, increase in income, but it all comes down to you and how, you know, proactive and positive you are and how you are releasing the past and allowing yourself to be born again, to be born anew. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching Capricorn. Thank you for liking and sharing my podcast. Thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. Thank you for feeding back on Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn and Twitter, wherever you find these podcasts. I, it's great to hear from you. Thank you to all my clients. I appreciate you. And if you would like to work with me, it's very easy. The link is below. You go to my astrology page, my coaching page. You choose the length of the session you want. You make the commitment there. Once I see you've made that commitment, I email you my schedule. You choose the day and the time that you want. And we're off and running, rocking and rolling. So until next time, Capricorn, keep looking up.